welcome to Columbia Theatre Berlin, where I'm with Danny from uh, Barry Tomorrow from Southampton. So, first of all, how are you today in Berlin? Oh, very well. Yeah, very, very well. It's going to be a good day. Um, I love Berlin, so yeah, it's cool. Uh, yeah, do you know the city already? Yeah, we played it loads and loads of times. I mean, probably about 11, 12 times so far, so definitely know it pretty well. Okay, uh, you're now uh, bringing the Black Flame to Europe. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how has the European leg been? Yeah, it's been crazy. Germany's just, like, Black Flame has done so much for our band. Um, it's grown us kind of exponentially in, in Germany as well as, as other places. So, yeah, it's been really good. Um, we've done pretty much two tours off Black Flame as well now, um, all of which have done really, really great numbers. Um, Certainly crowd-wise, crowd's crazy, they know all the words, they sing along, um, so yeah, it's perfect, it's been amazing. Uh, yeah, as you said, it's uh, panned out to be a monumental album for you guys, so yeah. uh, what kind of uh, live album is Black Flame that, now that you have played it extensively? Yeah, I mean, this is the first tour we've ever played any album in full start to finish, um, which has kind of got its challenges, but it's, it's also really, really fun to hear the album as it was intended. Um, and fans seem to be responding really well to it. Um, and it's nice to bring out some of the songs that perhaps we wouldn't have brought out prior to um, to doing an album in full. So, yeah, it's been really good. Um, people connect with the songs really well. They seem to translate live incredibly. So, yeah, it's been, it's great. It's really, really good. Any band favourites from the album playing live? Um, all of it, really. I love Black Flame anyway. So, um, for me... The age is always a really good, good crowd moment. Um, Black Flame itself is a, a very big song um, for us. It's probably our biggest song in our set now. So, okay, and uh, with this album, you took things with fans a bit mm -hmm. further. Uh, you know, fans making cover versions, yeah. and then ultimately some fans meeting up with you guys uh, in London. Yeah. So where did this idea come from originally, and what kind of experience was it? Um, well, it came from my brother, Dav, the bassist. Um, he thought about it as a joke um, many, many years ago. Um, and then we kind of thought, we saw so many cover versions of Black Flame, and and we just thought it would give back to the people that actually are the, the ones that matter most to us. Um, so we really, they are the first and foremost thought in our brain as our fans. So um, so yeah, so we saw these covers, came up with the bright idea of uh, of getting loads of different people together and then bringing them all to London. And we flew them over, people from Germany, Marvin from Germany came over, um, other people from Ireland and all over the UK. So we flew them and got them down to uh, London. We put them in a space, in YouTube space, put them up in a hotel. Um, and then they performed Black Flame together with, with us as well, which was a really cool moment. It was really lovely to see our fans kind of working so hard to do something. Um, and it came out great, you know, like they all seem to have had an amazing time, which is all that matters to us. And it was fun for us to kind of reconnect with our fans as per usual, so it was good. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, I think uh, at some point they were called the uh, Black Flame Black Band. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know if they are active in any way? They try to be, so they're def definitely trying to do, I think, another cover perhaps, um, but I don't know if they've managed to do that yet. I see Marvin quite a bit at uh, German shows, but the rest of the guys I don't see as much, but we're just about to do the UK, so I'm sure I'll see a few of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, and what about... Um kind of dedicated fans project you also had the uh, keepers of the black mm -hmm. flame uh how that how has uh, that project gone yeah it's really good i mean all these projects are generally just to try and solidify our fan base get them to understand that it's a community um and they should be looking after each other as well as um enjoying our band um but yeah it's good keeper of the flame is generally around people that have gone above and beyond for our band, people that have got really cool tattoos of the band, people that have um, kind of come to the most amount of shows, who have done the covers, all those kind of things. So it's just to really start a community um, within our fan base where they all know each other, they're all talking to each other and all supporting each other. Yeah, yeah. getting uh, fans more involved is always a good thing, of course. Absolutely. But uh, how challenging is it for a band to pull these kinds of things? I think the organisation side of it is is difficult sometimes, but I don't, you know, for me it's quite easy because our fans are awesome, so 
like it's just about giving them space and time to be awesome and, and do their thing so really it's 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 not that much effort it's just giving them a platform and our fans to be able to do that you know uh, yeah yeah and as a result do you see that you are like more connected now with the fans or fan base yeah I mean I think we've always been connected with our fans I think that's one of the reasons why we do so well in Germany and UK and, and everywhere really is that actually we've always connected with our fans we've always made sure we're at match it doesn't matter what show we're meeting our fans we're understanding what they like what they don't like creating friends rather than fans is, is kind of our ethos about everyone understanding that we don't take it for granted um, we just do it because we, we love connecting with people and we love that people seemingly like our records as well so so yeah I mean It, it helps, but I'm not sure it's the only thing we do because I think it's kind of an ethos of our band is, is connecting with our fans for sure. Okay, and um, yeah, Black Flame was such a huge success. Mm. Uh, is there um, any ideas for a new album yet? Well, we just released a new single, so you can kind of guess what's coming next. So um, I'm not allowed to really say much about it, but yeah, we've got we've got songs recorded, definitely. Um, we've just released The Grey, which is an awesome song, a heavy song, both emotionally and uh, lyrically and and uh, and musicianship wise, it, it's a heavy song. So, um, and that's connected really well on this tour. Um, people really, really like that song. They liked it even before we released it, which was amazing. Um, as we played it live, people connected with it. So, so yeah, there is plans. The album's uh, is going to be coming very soon. So, people need to keep their eyes peeled for that. Okay, so uh, how has it been uh, the artistic process for these new songs? You know, after a successful album, is there more pressure or? Um, yeah, I mean, I think there's always pressure. We put the pressure on ourselves, so it's, it's less about this kind of world of pressure, anybody putting pressure on you. It doesn't really happen in the real world. It's, it's generally us putting pressure on ourselves to make the best we can do. So we do that with every album. We just try and give ourselves space and time to be able to, to write songs. So this new song, we definitely gave ourselves a lot of time to be able to, to think about it, to write it, to record it and make sure it sounds the best it can do. Sure. Okay, uh, can you tell me um, maybe some inspirations for the new uh, material? Um, it's basically about my brain. Um, it's about how I've dealt with some of the things in my life, um, how other people uh, who have said stories to me, um, fans as well as friends, um, about how they deal with the darkest moments of their mind. Um, and it's really unlocking that, really, and, and being honest about that for probably the first time, time in my career where I could actually be really, really honest about all the stuff that I've kind of been through um, and and how fans and music have kind of brought me back into the real world and brought me back out of like just viewing myself on a, on a TV screen. So it's, um, it's very, very heavy material. Um, it's not heavy as in heavy music. It's just, it's tough to listen to. So the grey is quite a hard listen for anyone that gets the lyrics. So Um, but yeah, I mean, it's honest and it's what I want to do. I want to give everything I can, 100% of me to the fans. So this is the first step in doing that for sure. Okay, that sounds very interesting. No worries. Yeah, all the best and thank you very thank much. Thank you very Break much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you.